Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips. Now the question this week is somebody has asked me how do you fix a basin to a studded wall? Now we're talking now about basins that are fixed by the fissure bolt method. At the back of the basin there'll be two fixing holes and you've got to put uh, fissure brackets to them. Now if you're coming to a brick wall or a breeze block wall there's no problem there but if you're coming to a studded wall where there's only plasterboard you might have a problem there because there are all different types of plasterboard walls throughout the years we've gone from the traditional studded wall which was three by two studs put all on plasterboard or whatever, and then in some houses they've got tin they've got tin studded which is even harder to fix to and there's variations of that as well so if the house has been constructed by a builder it's probably got the traditional three by two studded walls uh, and they're one problem but if you just come into a wall that's been put up by a do-it-yourselfer or a builder who, who's just doing the fast way of doing stuff you might get a bit stuck so I'm going to show you this method on a wall that I don't know what's in it um, so we're just going to cut a hole in it see what's there to fix to and we're going to fix to it in the basin does that make sense? It's what we're going to do anyway, makes sense or not. So here we go, let's do it. Oh no, where well, I think the, the basin will probably have two holes here and here, and we don't know what's at the back of here. Don't take any notice of these lines here because these are plaster boards that's been reused in another position, and those are all positions. So we're going to we're going to say that this is where our basin is going to be. Right, and we, so we don't want to damage any of this area because we're assuming that it's never going to be tiled or finished, it's just going to be painted or wallpapered. If it is going to be retiled, then you can cut a lot more out and it gives you working space. But we've got to, the situation we're going to come across is we're not going to touch this. Right, so we've got to cut this out. Now, I know some of you lads have the multi tools. And they are just the job for this wing, but I haven't got one of them, so I'm going to go get me a Stanley knife now, and then we can investigate what's behind it. Just Tom back with his Stanley knife, old fashioned method. Uh, you can use uh, a stab saw if you've got one, which is even better, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to kind of keep within the basin area. Just to start with. Those multi tools would have pissed through this in a jiffy. But you know, you've got to go out to your van and get one, or you've got to go and buy one. You all know me by now. Tight northerner. Now we want to keep this in one piece because we're going to put this back in. So point. Feels like there's some wood there, so that might be favourable for us. I think there's a screw in there, so I need a screwdriver for that. I won't get one. That one's not really thin, but that one is.
as you can see the old board is flexing about so there's nothing in the back of this just put a basin on that it would just um, fall off the wall before your very eyes Now, we can expose a bit of wood there, so that's looking good for us. So as you can appreciate, I've landed lucky with that, and it was only uh, just pure luck, just by just picking out that, that it's not always land that lucky, I realise that. But we're taking the situation as it's arrived, and I'm going to put some wood at the back of there now, just like that, just slip it in place, and I'm going to hold it there, using just screws, just plasterboard screws. Once you get the first one in, I have to, I have to pull it tight and we'll, uh, we'll be going like a good one. We'll be cooking with gas as they say. As some say. I need to do a little bit of furtling at it. Once you've got a grip like that, you can get a few in and it's to pull it towards the plaster board. to put our wood back in, our piece of plaster board. Now then, there's our marks for our, our um, fisher pipe, fisher studs. So we just need to pilot them with a small drill. It is pilot the old. I'm fitting the um, fisher boat. Well, these. <coughs> These that I have, they're all plugs, they're not fishing uh, bolts, and they have, in the end, uh, a socket well, take these torque um, tap off. You just screw that in, and you know, normally. You 
Right, so that's that one done. You just do the same in the other one. If you haven't got the torque in the end like that, what you can do is put two nuts on together because you'll get they come in pairs so you can get the other nut screw that nut on there, tighten them together with a, a two pairs of spanners or a pair of dogs and spanners and then get a socket on there and screw it in on straight out so, you know that's your, that's, that's your that's load of basin and you just need to patch those screws in and um, off you go put it back on the wall right so there we have it admittedly that was lucky how that one landed it just landed on a little bit of studding and just needed a bit of wood inside but that's basically what it's all about it, each job merits its own working out and doing sometimes you can you can land on the studs and screw wood to the studs and and do it that way so it's you know you've just got to deal with the situation as it comes so anyway uh, it ceased to week this week, so I hope you all have a happy Easter, and um, we'll see you again for another tip whenever it comes. Catch you later.